people are just constantly amazed that we have a facility like this in uh, northern BC. Almost anyone that has driven the Alaska Highway or visited the Mile Zero Dawson Creek probably would have seen the Dawson Creek Art Gallery. This unique building was once a functioning grain elevator. The Heritage Grain Elevator was moved to its current location and has been home to the Dawson Creek Art Gallery for over 30 years. There aren't very many greeners left. Most of them have been torn down and very few, if any, have been turned into a functional building. Museum curator Kit Fast explains about the well-needed upgrades to the outside of the building that was completed this past winter. The goal was to have the, the art gallery and the surrounding buildings uh, taken care of for the next 35 years so you don't have to, didn't have to re revisit and, and, and repair. So what they did is uh, recited the elevator itself, the, uh, the gallery and the two sub buildings which meant taking all this, the old siding off and replacing it with a brand new hardy board, weather sealing it underneath that, taking off all the trim and there were all kinds of lights that had been put on over the years. All that was gone and they redid the roofs at the same time. The renovations went very well, finished on time and on budget, and should be good for another 35 years. Michael McPhail fondly remembers his late mother, Edna McPhail, and the strong connections she had to the art community. And it was his mother that came up with the idea of moving the grain elevator and using it as an art gallery. She was one of the founding members of the Art Society. She had the original idea for the, uh, the art gallery. She was a very prominent member in uh, Dawson Creek. The picture of what Dawson Creek looked like on Alaska Avenue, it was all grain elevators. And what mom was concerned about, she's saying, they're going to be gone and no one's going to remember them. We watched them disappearing one by one. Many people voiced their concerns. And we realized that soon all that would be left of these massive structures would be paintings and a few photographs. She was right, because no one, it's, it's a rare sight to see that. And uh, she had the idea, well, we'll move it and we'll create an art gallery. One day at a meeting in the Centennial Park, committee at the NAR Park. A group of us were standing out in front of the NAR station and we'd been discussing many things, including an art gallery. And I just happened to glance up at the uh, railroad tracks and, and noticed the elevator. And I said, you know, we should move one of those elevators and make that into an art gallery. And it was one of those moments where you just say something that sparks the imagination of the people you are with and uh, that was the beginning of the project. And the architect that uh, did the design, Jim Rose, said, I can't do it. And, and what she told Jim says, you say, no, that's not an answer. You've got to do it, Jim, otherwise you're in real trouble. So she put the fear of God in uh, Jim Rose, the architect, and they came up with a plan to make an art gallery out of it. Uh, the biggest challenge was the move itself. Uh, they brought in people, I think, from Edmonton to, to do the move. I remember her talking on the phone about it, and there was one point where they brought it over. It was a little, it, it moved, and they were a little concerned about it, but the, it got there fine, and everything worked out great. The move was no small task. This massive wooden structure would have to be moved five city blocks. The timelines that were put on it were quite amazing actually. They thought about the, the idea in uh, 1982 and it was opened as a gallery in 1983. That involved going out getting consensus from the community, finding money to do it and then arranging to have the work done. They almost had to reinvent the inside of the building to make it uh, functional. So it's quite an amazing accomplishment for the community. In 2014, the Art Gallery received a BC Architectural Award. What impressed them most was not just pres preserving a building, the, but the fact that you turned it into a, a cultural center. It's an essential part of the community. This heritage grain elevator, the home of the Dawson Creek Art Gallery, stands proudly in the heart of Dawson Creek. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Diane Townsend.